Okay, so I'm going to continue with a little bit of uh, interior work on my Mercury. Uh, these are the old door cards. Uh, I was going to try to make my own door cards. And uh, these are pretty beat up. And I've done these before in the past. Uh, but I decided to keep these just basically as a pattern. And uh, I got these peeled off. So I was going to keep this little uh, bristle board as a pattern. And uh, I've done these in the past where I use bristle board or you know, anything that's kind of thin. But I found this stuff here. And this is uh, from my company. These are the uh, COVID uh, warning signs. And uh, they've just upgraded to some brand new ones. So these ones are being thrown out. So, and I don't even know what you call this stuff. I can't think of it right now. It's plastic. It kind of looks like corrugated cardboard but it's plastic but I thought I would try maybe make maybe trace one of these out and cut it just to see if this would potentially work uh, as a door card it's a little bit thicker but I'm gonna try it anyway so I think it'd be a perfect material I mean this stuff wouldn't warp or wouldn't bow it's plastic but it's thin it's got some flexibility so I'm gonna try uh, plan is to, uh, if this works, and I'm going to buy some uh, black vinyl and sort of make my own, buy some black vinyl, make my own door cards. Like I said, I've done this before and they turned out not too bad. Uh, so let's trace this out and cut it and just to see what, uh, see what this uh, might look like. Well, there's a work of art there. Uh, let's cut this out. And uh, I'll take it home and see how it fits. And uh, if that works out, then uh, I'm going to use this method to make my other door cards. All right. Let's get this cut out. Okay. Well, there we have our first potential door card frame. Uh, like I said, it is a little bit thicker. But maybe if I can wrap the uh, vinyl with no padding, it would be a nice little interesting reminder of this time in history. Not that we want to remember this, but anyway, potential door card. I hope it works. I have enough to do at least two of these. I do have to make four, so I'll have to scrounge around for some more, but uh, some vinyl on here and see if it fits. Okay, so here's going to be the door cards for the front. Of course, uh, being a two-door car, the front doors are quite long, so I had to uh, piece in another piece of this uh, plasticky board, but I think it's going to work. Anyway, this is all a trial, and I scrounged another COVID sign that was left over. So between that one and the leftover from the back, I uh, should be able to make two door cards for the front. So let's see how these turn out. Thanks for joining me at Peace Street Garage. Uh, Happy New Year, all that good stuff. Uh, now, you just saw me making uh, or trying to make some door cards for my 62 Comet. And, uh, in fact, that was last week. Uh, I've got all my pieces here. And that's what I made them out of, this uh, plasticized... Uh, I still don't know what you call this, but uh, they're all leftover signs from my work that were being thrown out. And I think these will make... Uh, they're nice and thin. I think these would make uh, nice door card materials. But what I have to do with this is uh, I'm obviously going to have to uh, wrap these in some kind of a black vinyl. But before I do that, uh, before I go uh, shopping for vinyl fabric, I want to address um, my back seat, which uh, I want to salvage in the car. And what I want to do today is I want to use this product here. I've used this before. It's the Duplicolor uh, Vinyl and Fabric Paint. And I want to paint my back seat. Uh, so let's have a look at the back seat and we'll see how this goes. Okay, well here's the back seat. It's in fair condition. Uh, it does have a little bit of crackling and stuff. It is not perfect. But I think that uh, with a coat of the uh, vinyl and fabric paint, I think we can make this look okay. So there's the seat part and there's the back rest part. So I'm going to get set up here. I am going to uh, paint these seats. 
Uh, if you watched any of my previous videos last summer when I gutted the car, I, um, I thoroughly washed these down. They were full of mold and mildew and grime. Uh, they came out pretty good. Now they've been sitting in the basement for a few months. So I'm going to wipe them down again and I'm going to shoot them and hopefully they turned out okay. Now, um, my front seats, my front seats are completely trashed. Uh, they're kind of, they're, they're beyond repair. So, uh, for these, if I can't find bucket seats, I've been looking for bucket seats. I can't seem to really find any. Uh, but I know that the foams and the skins can be ordered and then all the, uh, all the trim, uh, could be painted in black as well. So these could be rebuilt. Uh, but what I want to do today, I've had this idea that I want to make my own door carts. And, uh, like I said, I've done them before. I, when I did the door cards before, they were just the little skinny door cards, uh, just a tiny strip in a pickup truck. Uh, so I've never done door cards this size. So there's the, the passenger doors and then there's, there's the rear, the rear, uh, the, the car is a two door. So there's no, there's no back doors, but there's still a, a piece that goes in the back, much smaller than one I just showed. So that's the plan. Let's make this, uh, black in color. And I chose the, there was a gloss and a satin. So I chose the satin. I'm not sure what it's going to look like. Uh, let me get this camera set up in the tripod. And uh, we'll go to town on these seats and see what they look like. Okay, well, here we are set up. And uh, I'm new to uh, using a tripod. I got this tripod for Christmas, so... I don't know anything about tripod or technology, but anyway, I'm set up there. I just wiped the seat down with some uh, some uh, brake clean. Uh, I'm not sure if that was the best product to use or acetone or what, but I got the seat wiped down. I've got my can stirred up, so hopefully we won't get too much uh, paint on the lens. And we'll get this started. Let's see what this looks like. I'm going to try some light coats, obviously. Let's give this a go. What's going on thicker than I remember? for black and we're getting black so moving on Can you even see what I'm doing? Oh well, hopefully I'll get better at the filming. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I'm going to swing around this side. So my first few swipes were very, very light. Uh, moving on.
Okay, so we have a light dusting over the whole area. Uh, my first few swipes were maybe a little too light, so I'm going to go over them again lightly. And I'm going to walk away for a bit. Okay, I think that looks good for a first coat. Uh, I'm going to pause this now and uh, I think we'll take this off of the stand. Actually no, we'll let this dry and we'll do the other one after. Okay, well here is one coat, one light coat and uh, quite happy. And like I said I have used this before, it was quite a few years ago and uh, you know, you'd think uh, this could come off on your pants or anything like that, but it actually does not. Uh, I think the trick uh, is to do light coats and then let it sit. And obviously, I've got all this uh, upholstery and stuff. And I'm also going to do some kick panels and maybe that little center console at some point. Uh, I've got this in my basement, which is warm and dry. Uh, so that's going to be ideal conditions for curing. So this is one coat. Uh, where's my can? Here's my can. And I'd say we've got, well, we've got more than half left. So this is pretty good, pretty good stuff. You can see that. Okay, I'm going to let this set up. And I'm going to come back and give it a second coat. Okay, so it's about half hour later. Let's, uh, let's give this a second coat. And I'm going to try to one-handed, freehand this. See how this goes. Might not go well, but... Oh well, we'll try. Yeah, did you even see what I was doing? Anyway, I'm going to move on here. So if you follow my channel, uh, and uh, I might add for anybody who does follow my channel, thank you. And thank you to any of my new subscribers. I appreciate it. Uh, I love this Mercury Comet. And uh, what I'm doing is, if you if you have seen the videos, I am painting the car in bright yellow. Uh, I have nicknamed the car the banana. So I thought that a, uh, a black interior would look good uh, with a yellow car. So that's kind of the look I'm going for now. This is kind of a, a, a budget type of uh, build. Restoration, not not a restoration. I'm really, I'm really just fixing up an old car the way I want it, just making it the way I want it. It's not uh, there's nothing fancy, nothing expensive. Uh, just having fun with it. You don't have to spend a fortune or have uh, really high end stuff to uh, just enjoy your car and and be in that hobby. So the second coat is going on pretty nice. The little cracks, I mean, they're not going to go away, but uh, let's face it. Probably no one's ever going to sit in that back seat, but it'll be there and it'll look fine. Pay attention, pay attention. The whole point of the tripod is, uh, so I wouldn't have to do this, but I don't know. I just always sort of revert to my old ways. And I'm pretty cramped here in my basement. Uh, 
Now, this is a hundred year old house, so there's not, there's not a huge amount of space. And, uh, winter here in Canada, so my garage does not have a proper heating system, so. I'm kind of all over the place. Sometimes I do, if I have little projects like this, sometimes I do them at work, in the workshop. I can do stuff in my basement, stuff in my dining room, and stuff in my garage. When it's not too cold, I get the heater set up, and it's actually not too bad. I actually, I recently actually painted the dash of the car in the garage, and it is winter. And uh, I just did it with a space heater. It turned out okay. So, I think we got us a good looking black seat. Yeah, I, uh, I'm happy with this. I am happy, thoroughly happy with this. Now, there's probably little areas that I've missed. Of course there is. Now, when you go back, this is where you make a, you go back and you make a glob now. Anyway. No one's ever going to see the back, back, back of this. What about the visible? What's visible? How's this looking? I think this is looking fine. Okay. Now I'm going to walk away again. And when I come back, I'm going to go, I'm going to throw this one on the pile. And uh, this one, being the backrest, has little chrome inlays that I've already taped off. And uh, we'll do the same treatment to this one that we did over here. Okay, so far so good. Okay, now over here I've got these little, uh, these are my little kick panels uh, that I recently cleaned. Uh, there's four of them. The car only requires two. So I don't know... Do I paint them all? And uh, this material here, obviously this is a matching pair. These are the toe kick panels uh, up in the front, the front well, uh, foot well, driver and passenger side. So that would be a pair, I'm thinking. And this would be another pair. So I just don't know which, I only need two. The car came with four, quite a few spares. So that one's got a huge crack in it. So maybe I'll leave that one alone. Uh, that one's got a, an assortment of extra holes. So does this one. Uh, none of them are perfect. I think what I'm going to do, I'll discard this pair. I'll discard this pair. And I'll blast these. Now, vinyl and fabric paint. I don't know if this is going to work on this. But I've got a little bit left in my can. And I'm going to blast... At least one. If I can blast two, I'll blast two. Uh, let me just uh, give this one more wipe. I'm going to blast these. And this is this is hard plastic. I don't know if this paint... I don't know if this will stick to it. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, well, so be it. Okay, let's try it. All right. This is a trial. No idea if this is going to work. be nice if it did. Maybe. Oh, let's shoot this one. Got nothing to lose now. These cans, uh, another ten or twelve dollars, maybe fourteen now. It's, uh, you know, the stuff is not really cheap anymore. But I mean, for the results that you can get, uh, it's really a bargain. I mean, imagine what it would be to have to order these toe kicks or fender, whatever you call them. Uh, I'm sure it would not be cheap. And then in Canada, you always have to deal, everything comes from the U.S., so you got to deal with shipping, exchange rate, and customs, and it all adds up. So, you pick this up at your local uh, automotive store here. Oh, I think I'm at the end of this can. Nope. A little bit more. We'll get her. Yeah. Starting to sputter, but it's okay because we're almost there.
Uh, this does smell fairly strong, by the way. I'm going to have to. It is winter, and i got the furnace going, so that helps to suck in a lot of the air. Okay, now if this doesn't all peel off, and I don't know if it will or not, as I said, I know it does really well on vinyl, vinyl and fabric, excuse me. This is more of a uh, plastic. All right, this can is done. Let's let this set up, and uh, bonus if it works. Okay, guys, well, we got the uh, first part of the bench done, and that's uh, over there, curing. Uh, I'm still experimenting with my tripod, so I don't know, maybe I'm too far, too close. Anyway, all new to me, but uh, we've got the backrest part of the seat. So, I got a second can of uh, vinyl and fabric paint, so let's have a go at this. Let's get this part done now. Now that I've had a little bit of practice, maybe I can go a little bit thicker. Now, I'm probably going to get in the way and block you, but that's my uh, lack of experience with the tripod. couple of areas where the uh, the shine was worn right through. I might have to lay it a little thicker. Try to sort of build it back up. Like I said, probably no one's probably ever going to sit back here. But I think this is a nice way to dress this up and for whatever the cost of a can of this stuff is, it's an absolute bargain. A little bit worn here, I'll build it up a bit. Maybe it's the right thing to do, maybe not.
going to go a little heavier in these creases. Okay, let's clear this nozzle. Again, we've got about half a can used up. Um, let's walk away for half an hour and we'll come back and give her a second coat. Okay, this uh, is set up pretty good. Let's give it uh, a second coat. I'm just concentrating on the pleats right now. Okay, let's try that. Let's get these pleats, then we'll come back and do the, the rest in one go. Excuse my back. I always need a little bit more in the uh, in all the crevices. Okay, now let's do the flat open areas. It was easier when I could see the contrast of the red, but now I just got to make sure I don't miss any spots. Trying to blend everything in, make it look as uniform as possible. And uh, it looks good from a few feet back, and it actually looks really good up close. I'm really impressed with this stuff. I'm going to get in a tight spot here. That's the best way to do that. Use my back again. I'm just at a critical spot. I don't really want to stop it now. Hands getting a little bit low, but I 
got a good coat, a good second coat on this. I'm just trying to go around. The back edges we'll probably never see, but since I'm at it, I'm going to try to try to get all of it. Get rid of all the red. So from red to black, uh, I'm quite happy with this. Like I said, I do tend to repeat myself a lot, but uh, vinyl and fabric paint. Uh, this is totally doable. Um, great stuff. Okay. Okay, so my seats are uh, now cured up. It's a little bit later. Very happy with these results. Uh, I can't say enough how great this uh, Duplicolor uh, fabric and vinyl paint is. There's the bottom part. The imperfections that you see here, again, are cracks and crevices that were already were in the vinyl. Uh, it is what it is. This is 58, actually 59 years old now, because we're 2021. Uh, very happy with these seats. The, as a bonus, I tried this earlier. And these are the kick plates inside the footwell. These have received two coats. Now, this is not really vinyl or fabric. This is more of a, I guess, a plastic. But it turned out fantastic. So my kick panels are now black. So... <clears throat> This is what the interior of the car is going to be. I have a black uh, carpet coming. I'm still looking for some bucket seats. Uh, and at this point, I can buy bucket seats if I don't redo these ones. Uh, I can buy bucket seats any color because I know I can make them look like this. So what I got to do now is I got to go... Uh, I'm going to leave it here for now. I'm going to be uh, continuing uh, with the car. There's lots more to come. Uh, P Street Garage here. Lots more to come on the Mercury Comet. Uh, we've got a center console we got to do. We've got some more interior trim we have to do. We've got to build these door carts. So I'm going to leave it. Uh, I'll try to make my videos not as long because uh, long videos tend to be boring and people lose interest. I'm well aware of that. I'm going to be building the door cards. i got to get some vinyl. Uh, I'm going to get some uh, some vinyl material to wrap these. So that's why I wanted to get this painting done to see what kind of finish uh, I would get. And this is a is not very glossy. It's glossier than what the lid of the can shows. Uh, but there also was another one I could have bought that was high gloss. And I'm glad I didn't go with that because I don't think that would have looked very good. But anyway, for my application, done. And kick panels are going to work. Going to leave it here for now, guys. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.